<laughs> Sharon, you're still alive, brother. We're here. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm alive. I survived Memorial Day weekend. So did you get the WD though. You had the WD. You had to withdraw. <laughs> I, had, I, had early I, I, withdrew. <laughs> I withdrew from the tournament this weekend, as you can see by my jewel jewelry I'm wearing right now on that my ice. List. That, that ice. Hospital ice. Oh man, um, what a weekend. Yeah, basically blew my back out harder than I've ever blown it out before, and it wasn't even like my back. It was like what my was neck his and name? <laughs> what was his name? When did you guys meet? I don't know, but I pinched a big old nerve. So whatever that was, <laughs> uh, I think it was an amalgamation of things. The free shows of drumming in one day or the 10 hours, two days straight of filming, holding up a 10 pound camera. I don't know what's fucked my back up. But Ice I'm metrics. Old. It could have been Rory. That's where he was this week. Uh, was it Rory? <laughs> did he sneak into my house and punch me in the back because he knew? Uh, I was going to be uh, generous to him this week too. He better be nice to me. He should come through this week. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome uh, to another episode there, boys. Good Lies Golf. We're here. And uh, Brendan and, and Petty actually played. You guys went out there. Yeah. How many you played? Mountain. I so. played two pars all day. I think the rest were double bogeys. And maybe even worse through a few holes. I had enough time for eight holes. Couldn't hey, get the ninth two in. two pars. That was it. Had the oh, wife calling. Me and my boy are running nice. through the woods. We're trying, to, we're trying to make it there to get her in time from work. I thought I had myself enough time. I thought I was like, I, I was good to get through nine. Got through eight and the phone just wouldn't stop. So I was like, <laughs> rerouting. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was, those it was are tough decent. playing conditions, man. Yeah. Under when that you're, pressure. You're rushing, yeah, that pressure was, it was definitely. I mean, you know, they talk about the pressure of like the PGA or live hitting big shots in front of, you know, thousands and thousands, but there's no pressure like the wife calling oh, and no pressure blowing like you up and you you're know late. you're on a tight time. Oh line. boy. Yeah. I couldn't get there. I couldn't be in two places at once. It was, it was hard. It was, I had to get there and fast. And the last hole I was like, should we hit up on this group anyway? I was like, nah, we just skip the night hole. These guys are halfway down the fairway and I'm like, Am I going to be that guy trying to get this last hole in? Sorry, my wife. <laughs> play through. Play through. You're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, That'll we totally good. get it. We get she's it, not man. pregnant, but she's acting like it. <laughs> We're in a rush. We're in a rush. No, nah, but it was sure, good. So it was that. He's the one that's not married. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm allowed to say that, so I, I won't get slapped for it. That's good. Oh, man. Good yeah, you, don't have, you don't have to deal with that, that little <clears> bit of added stress of having to to be there at a certain time you know i was i wanted to just hit the ignore button and play dumb you know <laughs> had no service <laughs> yeah i think they're wise to that already yeah, i think skirts. verizon and at&t have already called their bluff on that they like purposely did that in the commercials you've seen that these guys are out playing golf and their cell phone works fine it's like why'd you do that bro like <laughs> chill, on, bro chill. pretend like that's the place that still doesn't get any service these are unwritten rules <laughs> Right, right. <laughs> oh man, but uh, not nah, the not weather's funny. been great, man. We're getting some seventies, mid seventies right now. So. Yeah, it's been beautiful. It has oh, been a nice, great yeah. weekend for everybody. Yeah, it's, it's been, been busy. Traffic's nice. crazy. Every every time we're driving by Poxbog or the the cars are packed. You know, the parking lot is loaded. <laughs> and we talk about three weeks ago where it was dead. Like you could go yeah. there, and nobody's in there, and then within three weeks, we know how it goes. The Hamptons Memorial Day weekend. This is where it all kicks off. This is where it all starts. I mean, it doesn't, it shifted years ago. Like it used to be the big, big push was Memorial Day weekend. And you'll get that big bar crowd and those packed golf oh, yeah. places and everything. But really now the season shifted after late June when all the kids get out of school. Then the family starts shifting away for the summer. So it shifted a little bit. Now it's more like 4th of July weekend is like the real Grand Slam. And then that kind of lasts all the way through Labor Day. Just packed every day, everywhere. It's just nuts. Monday. Tuesday, Revolved around Monday. the kids. It's the kids. Yeah. It's kind of like after that school Sometimes gets I like out. To perform for the kids. For the kiddies. So, you know, that's the golf camps and all that stuff, too. They got all the sports camps out here. Sport Time does one. All the golf courses do one. Used to camp. work there. Yeah, Shout Brandon out. used to work there. Shout out to Sport Time. Sport Time, Hanson. yeah. Yeah, it's going to be, I think it's going to be one of the most crowded summers because just this little weekend here, just to see the people out. And, like, I'm like, wow. And it's only going to get crazy. I was like, you couldn't even fit another car in the Poxbox parking lot. I was like, yeah. Jesus that's Christ. Crazy. And you got to think too, all the bars, lines ripped down the road, all the way around, back around the corner. You're like, this is only Memorial Day. Imagine July 4th. Yeah, so we I had like 100, 150 or 160, like on the T sheet uh, Saturday and Sunday. I was like, wow. Yeah. So, we like, were, how, overnight. How's that, shit, how's that shit work for you guys? Cause, like, obviously you have a small window of time that, like, is 
playable conditions you know for the most part um and then you obviously get that massive influx of like you know tourists and and even like non-locals that have places there that are moving in you're talking about how busy and shit it gets on the courses like how does that affect the rate of play like is that a oh it gets so much slower it's oh, like really? four hour rounds minimum and it's like always what? even even on little dude if i play a four hour round that's great no i mean no i'm talking like on a nine hole little you know oh, sag harbor it okay. takes four nine hours holes. you're like holy shit montauk takes like six hours sometimes for a round when you're out there in the summer and you got eight groups ahead of you the rangers all pissed off and you, you got to pay attention to the window of how they stagger mm-hmm. from one group to the next winter time they'll give you like 30 minute windows from the next group summertime you're teeing off five minutes after the yeah, next 10 group minutes just went. yeah they give you it's 10 like what in the off. world <laughs> it's and crazy then you're just fucking backed up yeah back to back and the whole time back. you want to be Waiting respectful for shots well yeah. and it's not even that too it's like we talked about before it's the booking of the tea times themselves like montauk like we were saying it's it's remember in the hamptons everybody think oh if you can golf it's magical yeah no if you're a millionaire and you have private money there's only three public courses there's poxabog which is literally a short three par a par three little tiny nine hole and you have sag harbor which is like a regular nine hole but it's still a nine hole the only 18 public course here in that vicinity is montauk downs and montauk books out over a week in advance so you really can't get a tea time unless you're right on it right at 6 a.m right at that time or whatever sometimes you get lucky this is how i personally do it now i'm going to spoil it for the people but whatever I I go on there like the night before late night and I try to scoop a tea time that people drop from the next day and it yeah. happens more often than not so like you'll get a quick oh there's two slots on a 1130 okay let's take that one you know like oh there's two slots on a 745 who cares let's get up let's take that one it's kind of like whatever you can get in the summer on your days off or like key yeah. by the way Book I it. used to love doing or like I, I've come to love doing that Sherm. Uh, it's like I, a Russian roulette yeah i used to i don't know why I, it really is it really is i don't you know never why, know what's next like, never let them know your next move <laughs> in the past i was like ah, oh, like none of my buddies can make it you know i like i really want to golf but no one can golf with me and i'd be like ah, i'm just not gonna go and now i'm like fuck it dude like yeah, you just get thrown in with like a bunch of random people and it's just i don't know that's just how i hand out business cards. I'm bob and then yeah, bob's that. like a ripper off the tees like doing dude, shotguns oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, I've met most of my clients. He's like 70 years old. You're like, Bob's right. pretty cool. Bob's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, dude. I've, I've met the best people getting paired up like that. It's like, yeah. to me, I kind of look forward to it. I'm like, you never know what's next. It could be the greatest or the worst. It could be like the oh, absolute yeah, yeah, yeah. worst. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it could it could be. It could be. But like, yeah, I mean, it's just, you got to love the game so much. Like, why shy away from playing? Like, oh, yeah. especially me. I, I'm not a, really a people person. I'm not I'm not a guy that typically would, like, go out and just, like, start shaking hands and, you know, kissing babies and, you know, talking to random people. But for some reason, golf is just like, fuck it. Let's get paired up and, you know, let's play the game. And that's Kevin the one me. sport that you really can do that with. You can't really yeah. do that with a lot of other sports. Maybe pick up basketball, I guess. Pick up, but yeah, pick up ball but, or something. Or like pick up, yeah, pick up ball. But other than that, there, it's rare that you get paired with somebody. You kind of have to spend the whole damn four or five hours. That's a long time, you know. Yeah. You're out there yeah. shooting the shit with the guy. He could start getting pissed off, and you yeah. have to deal with that energy. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. get that one guy that's like a crazy frat bro. He wants to start shotgun, choking beers, and yeah, yeah, doing crazy yeah. shit. You get the guy that's like just two old dudes, and they're flushing it, making you look bad, like. It, there, it, there's so many little different uh it's like a subway car in new york city there's, you just get every type of person walking on a golf course like that yeah, that's like yeah. kind of why i love golf so true. walks of all life <laughs> yeah yeah oh man so true dude yeah for me too this is the first time i played in a while where I, I literally hadn't had uh no no drinking man straight straight water and gator i like all sober day. rounds sometimes just game. i can't lie yeah. it's been hot and i've been getting so like dehydrated and down and i'm like i get done and i feel like man i'm done like i'm tired like after nine from the, the walk in the heat and the beat i'm like man i felt great after today i was like man played nine i'm still great just, still haven't had a beer i'm good man like the beer's been killing me man can't, can't so, really i'll save it for the round that. after yeah yeah you, need, yeah you need that you know mental space to just focus on the game but i'll shock a few and you just yeah, trust me yeah, trust yeah. but hey <laughs> <laughs> to get out there play a nice little sober round it felt yeah. great Honestly, yeah. I prefer the sober round because I golf better. But if I'm just trying to have fun with the boys, yeah, I can't do a sober. Yeah, round. exactly. I'll, you know, but if if I'm there just chilling, I'm trying to get a good score going. I'm yeah, I'm trying to not get all messed up. 
at least until the turn, you know, give myself the, <laughs> at least until, at least until see, the what, turn. see what happens. Yeah, and give then, myself yeah. a front nine to to feel it out, you know. <laughs> Things start going worse there, and then I'm just here on a drinking trip. This isn't no longer a golfing trip. <laughs> yeah, might have to get it fired up on some Mountain Dew on the back nine. But other than that, get hopped up on some Mountain Dew and Fireball shots. Shut up, yeah. chip. <laughs> Mountain Dew and Fireball. Oh Ooh. my God! Please tell me no one drinks that. I don't know. It sounded pretty deadly to me when, when you <laughs> chef <laughs> chefing it up over there, man. Jesus, you're not. A, that's why you're not a bartender. You're a chef. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that's like serving raw chicken. You know, putting putting Mountain Dew and Fireball together. It's Under- something gonna happen. Jail, undercook, <laughs> overcook, right to jail. <laughs> right oh god, jail. that's mad funny, man. Uh, yeah, this this week, what do you guys got planned this week? You getting out there? What, what do you got planned? Be anything good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going out to uh, my buddy's having a little like batch, uh, batch day, I guess you would call it. But we're going golfing at Stone Lake, so we're looking forward to that. Uh, man, I think we got like almost twenty guys or something like that. So damn, uh, Epic. I tried to make squad. it, but I just yeah. couldn't squad. Couldn't make dude. it happen with the schedule. Yeah, Shit, I don't even got twenty friends. <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's wild, man. We got a lot of a lot of our boys uh, are are local here from growing up. Still, they got so. a good Ohio community yeah. over there. They got a good thirty, and it keeps growing squad. too, because like you know each of us individually meet people throughout our lives and like we bring them in or they cross paths with our group and then ultimately become boys too so that that group just continues to flower and just grow but uh yeah i mean any any given week there's someone golfing and it just so happens you know now we have a, a reason to all do it on saturday so that's it's dope when you all get together you know for the yeah, same yeah. weekend or something that's a that's a good that's a good feeling it's fun no matter how you play it's a it's a good trip yeah, I, and but but you know you're looking forward to playing well. Oh, you, you of want course, to beat that ass, you know. Oh, of course, yeah. You got it. I'm playing for bragging rights. Yeah, exactly. five hour holes mean a lot more. It's like five thousand. Yeah. yeah, five dollars. Really, it feels like a million when I win. You know. Yeah, yeah. And, and this one's a tune up because a lot of the guys that are going to be playing, not all of them, but a lot of them that are going to be playing on Saturday, are part of our group that goes up to Apple Valley each each year. Uh, so for next month or yeah. so you're going yeah. up so there this anyway. is a so tune like a precursor yeah yep. exactly exactly you can reflect so. back on this when we're there <laughs> <laughs> i hope so man dude my game is just like it's so up and down day to day like minute to minute right now and it's so frustrating but like, like a netflix stock yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah no it really oh, is dude it's crazy like i i'm telling myself out there when i'm hitting on the net it's like there's moments where everything feels absolutely perfect. Like it feels super comfortable and I like know where the ball is like coming or going before I even hit it. You know what I mean? Like I, I just feel comfortable. And then other times like the next shot, I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? (laughs) You know, I'm hitting it differently. You can hear the different sound. You can feel it in your hands. You know, it's different, but you're like, I feel like I'm doing the exact same fucking thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And and you just get in these like funks and waves and it's just, it's tough, man. It's tough. That's That's the hardest frigging game. (laughs) Love it though. And now I I wish I, now I can't play for a little while. I'll be out of commission for at least a few weeks. So that sucks. I was planning on golfing when I came out and visited you. But now it doesn't look like that might be a possibility. I might just have to skip the golf. Oh yeah. man, heal up, Come heal on. Up. Maybe some we'll put you one of those like robotic braces. Yeah, you can just... <laughs> might play <Yeah>. better. <laughs> some, and then some paraplegic guy shows up to the course, and they're like, "Oh, sorry, it's rented." The guy's like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, we we <laughs> rented the, the only one D-bag. out. It's like oh, going to the handicap stall to take a shit at like a sports stadium, and then you see a wheelchair like underneath the stall. You're like, "Oh, been there, oh, brother, man. been there." Start sweating. What I'm what did you guy. do? How did you how, how Walk did you step out, out of that stall, man? Stay Straight confident, face? bro. You yeah. stay confident. You just kick it open like the Terminator and just hopefully he doesn't see you and you bolt for it. Like you weren't here <laughs> first, bro. You weren't here first, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. Oh, uh speaking of uh shit, last week's tournament was what was that? I mean, it was so weird. Dude, Davis Riley just played great golf, man. Yeah. That's what I mean. Five the lead the on the boys. Just kind of like couldn't even keep up. The rest yeah, of the field that boy got was, shot on. All they saw was taillights. That boy was gone. Yeah, holy it's crap. Crazy. Scotty He's been was, having Scotty a tough season, but I mean, we've I mean. seen flashes kind of from random. him, though. 
It was it was kind of right out there, and Tony was looking good in the beginning. I Tony, Tony was looking. I thought he might have had good. a little something going on in the beginning. Seventeenth, finished seventeenth, not bad. He's scrapping still, man. Tony's been scrapping top twenties. It's just yeah, it's true. He's uh, and when he goes on a run, he goes on a tear. He gets them in bunches, boy. He grinds them, but yeah, he does. Shout out Davis Rod. I mean, he had had to win a big one. This is that's that's a nice one to win. Overall. What about the whip, the car? Yeah, the that. <laughs> that thing that's what I'm saying. Clean. That's a nice one to win. That's a good one. That's a nice trophy. Yeah. Sam that Burns cool. got that Trans Am or whatever. He got that or Firebird, whatever it was. And uh, that thing was sick, too. Sweet. They're yeah, giving out cars now. And he was driving that to tournaments, he was saying, Sam Burns. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty Why good. Why wouldn't he you? He was pulling the straight Happy Gilmore, like driving the <laughs> muscle car. Like, Big check in the back. Big, Big checks. checks. <laughs> Big checks in the back. Yeah. Oh, God. The Xander probably days. has a fucking locker room filled with those checks. Dude. Yeah, he's definitely got to have like, have a whole have room to... that every wall to wall is just your big checks. Yeah, that's got to be dope to look back and see like every purse you won, you know, throughout the years, and you can go back and just be like, boom, boom, boom. Oh, if I was a golfer, I'd have a trophy room. What's why wouldn't yeah. you? What's the what's the damn? What, what, I'd have the whole basement. I'd have the shrine. I'd have the whole yeah. man cave would just be all you know all my wins. I wouldn't have one loss in there. All my W's. I'd have a couple pot- participation trophies, you know. Yeah, he'd have a lot of bronzes in there, a couple silvers. Yeah, me, I'd have a couple Texas Wedge uh, performance trophies. But other than that, performance. performance. Yeah, like you, you know, a challenge, putt off challenge kind of deal. You pull up to the mini putt. What's the course record here? What's the course record? <laughs> oh, that fourteen-year-old did a good. Yeah, all right, sick. You're not yeah, allowed to use your own putter here. You, you you have to use our putters. <laughs> I got my regulation with the laser lock, like the laser sight. It's got like a red beam. Ready Any type of advantage I can get over these little guys, I, I'll take it. Any type of advantage I can get hey, over them. Yo, little kids are no joke on the mini golf course. They rip. They get hole in ones and shit. That's because they, they just swing, man. They just swing. They That's have no what we, fear. We don't do that anymore. They have no fear. I don't do that. <laughs> these old bodies just don't got it. Way like too that. many thoughts. Way too many thoughts. The oh, brain man. is processing so much. The uh, weather, the lie. <laughs> weather? The why. Did the anyone why? check what the weather is going to look like this weekend up in Canada for the RBC Canadian Open this week or what? I haven't I checked on anything. I didn't, I didn't check it. I didn't check We it. didn't check the weather. That's our fault. Even though but, we're nice. the odds. but we're still nice a couple days away. There, so Ron. even if it did, we're hoping you know, for the best. What could we possibly do? We'd be a couple days away anyway. So it's not like we could do anything about it. Um, on that note, yeah, we're at the Hamilton Golf and Country Club there in in uh, Canada. So we're out there, PGA Tour up north, up north, hey, eh? the Great White North. Rory, the huge uh, favorite. Rory, big favorite here, big time favorite. I think that's you know well deserved. He's been a champion and he's been crushing it. Um, I think he's been ripping lately, and I quite frankly think they might be right on this call. So I'm not going to steer far away from the Rory. Uh, wagon, but I will say there is some talent out there in the field that could throw it down. Not to name our 30 golfers as usual, but there is a decent, you know, prize purse going down 9.4 milli. So that's not, uh, you know, small by any means. And a winner gets 1.6. So it's pretty much like the lottery. Yeah. Right there. Neck there and win neck. a quick lottery and make a, will, make a millions check. And you get, you know, a can of Canadian bacon. Yep. So. Yep. You, you can't really, go wrong with that. I, what I remember, some... I think you also get a really ugly jacket. You do. <laughs> yeah, it's the RBC. So, so I think <laughs> that's, that's basically what happens. And, uh, yeah, we're there. I do, I do think this course sets up really well, obviously, for Rory, though. I mean, especially the way that it's laid out. He's played well here before. I think... I think uh, he actually had won here once once prior at the same course. It does yeah. move around. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, he just, with his length, he can just really take all the fairway bunkers out of play. As long as it stays in the fairway, he can, you, you know, use the approach game, hot putter. Uh, he can kind of overpower the course. But there's a lot of other guys playing well. I mean, the gala, man, I think this course sets up really well. He's been playing lights out. All season, I like Your him. Boy, a lot. Norn, but I watch out I, for I him. Think, I think with him, I I love him. I really do. I think he's a great player. He's really consistent. Uh, but 
I think with him, in order for him to to win, like I think he can contend, but in order for him to win, uh, we'll have to find out that that rough up there is a is a problem, because if it is, his game really fits fits the bill because it's all about accuracy, staying in that fairway, let everyone else kind of fuck up. You know what I mean? But, yeah, he's been he's been playing great ever since you've been mentioning him too the last few yeah. weeks. That's why I've been looking at him at the top twenty here and now. I'm like, man, yeah. he's been doing. That's why I like mentioned his name. He's been doing. Uh, I haven't really paid too much attention to him until after you started seeing it, and then I started paying attention and looking and seeing what he's doing. I'm like, man, he's uh, he's somebody I could put a little bit of money on for a top ten, top twenty. Yeah, this week I think. Yeah, yeah. I like I like that call, dude. Yeah, I like, that like call you said, not to win, but he's going to be in the mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, it's an interesting field for sure. I think it's a little lighter than last last week's Charles Schwab. Um, you know, there there were some big names. Davis Riley just fucking outplayed them all. Yeah, yeah really uh, came out of nowhere. Yeah, I mean, for real. <laughs> That's um, all, yeah, straight up. But but there there's some other guys that potentially play well. I mean, we got Cashmere Keith. You know, could set up well for him. Yeah. Uh, Maverick McNeely is kind of having a resurgence this year. Um. What do you think about your boy Sam Burns, Sherm? Well, you just took my little slapper. Oh. I think that was either going to be it was either going to be between him or Rory in the winning seat, and uh, now I think at a flash pan pick, I'm going Sam Burns. So, ooh, ooh, here we go. Talk to me, my winner. So when? Like to hear it. <laughs> Whoa! Oh shit, man! Sam Burns coming out. Somebody was re- he was reading that mind. He could see Sam Burns in your eyes. He had it. He, he Rory called you right top out. 10. I'm not in on Sam him. Burns I was just curious. I was Sam curious Burns winner. Rory top ten. That's what I'm throwing out there. I'm fading Sam Burns. I don't think he'll so, even play so, top 10. Damn. All right. So I what's am Brendan too. got? I am <laughs> too. Sorry. That's why, that's why I'm I was sorry. so He hasn't curious. been playing that great. Yeah. I was so curious. Uh, I like I like some other guy. Let me name a couple other guys to throw in the mix here, though, first, before I do a winner. Off the seven he just named. Mark Go Hubbard. Ahead, Mark Hubbard. I think he's been playing great. He's been really consistent. Uh, played well uh, with the RBC Canadian last year. I think he did a top three or so. Um, Taylor Pendrith, that's he's already too. Yeah. won a, won a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, he's a Canadian boy, I think he ends up having the best of the, all the Canadians uh, this this week. And the course again, he's a long hitter of the ball, could set up really well for him. Um, and then a super sleeper, if you're just like throwing a dart out there, Davis Thompson. Yeah. Uh, I I think he could be them, but uh, I think I'm gonna go. I think the Gala can do it this week. I think he can do it, man. I want I want him to do it. I think the gala is my guy. All right. You're picking like the gala. I'm yep. going Sam Burns for the win with a Rory placing top 10 finish. Also going to throw Adam Hadwin top 20 lock um, right there. That's also what I'm going to toss in. What do you got, Petty? In my top 20, I'm going to put uh, Corey Connors. That's who I'm going I'm to put up there. Great pick. And, and I okay. think that I want to ask you out, who do you guys got out of the all the Canadians – if you had to pick one, Hadwin, I'm picking Hadwin. Hadwin? Yeah, I'm going with Pendrith. Not in there. Pendrith. I think Pendrith too. I was going to ask you if we had to pick just one of us for for uh, each each person pick a Canadian. I think Pendrith too, man. I honestly yeah. do. And That's then who's my guy big too. W? You picking Rory? Me? Yeah. I think Rory's going to win. Yeah, outright. Right. Yeah. And Sorry, Rory's but yeah. Right. Yeah. I like Corey Connor's top twenty though. Yeah. Ooh, he's, gonna, he's gonna be right there back at home. You got. They're all gonna be feeling great, man. And they they compete amongst each other. It's not. Well, this it's is a big just... thing. It's like their little U.S. Open. You exactly. Know? It's like, it's exactly. Like their, this their is the version. big one. It's the big one. This isn't one to be light with if you're Canadian. This is a important time. So, you know. Speak I, about I think another be... important time. I think it's a good time to do a little sponsorship here. Un- unofficial. Unofficial. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, but for real. Uh, Graders, eighteen seventy. Uh, it's been here in Cincinnati, Ohio. It's my great idea. ice cream shop. Got the little strawberry shake right here, pounding this way. Um, but yeah, gotta love that. It. Would put me Graders. to sleep good right there, boy. Oh, Graders is fantastic. I second Brendan, and I usually went for the what was it? The um, purple one. It was like oh, uh, chocolate raspberry chip. Yep. Oh, ooh. Ooh. really yeah, that, fucking with good. The milkshake. <laughs> oh, ooh. really fucking good. Ooh. Yep. That's if I, if I'm not doing a shake there, that's my go to ice Ohio cream. Ohio doesn't fuck around when it comes to dairy, for sure. dude. Those cows are fresh. <laughs> like Montauk seafood, like Montauk fish, cows, Ohio fresh. Done. 
This is where you come if you want a milkshake while you're pumping gas, man. This Oof. is where you come if you want cow cum, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. You come, sure. oh, How's that I back, know. Dude? I'll ask Tabitha how we're doing. With How's that back, back there? Yeah. But, still churning. <laughs> you still churning back there, Tabitha? Oh, yeah, shit. so I... I think uh shout out to Canada this week. We're going to see some things happen. Some sparks fly. It'll be a good tournament. This always is a good tournament every year. I like watching this one. So I'll be. There's always Canada magic. With there's always back. magic. Think about it, boys. There's always magic. I got to throw a lineup in the fan duel. You know, you're picking six golfers for the, for the week. I got to throw one of those in there. It's been a minute. Yeah. I'm trying to take one. Those are fun. Absolutely. Those are fun. That's, that's why, fun. that's why I wanted to name a couple, you know, guys. Who give you like a lineup, give you a full yeah. lineup. Exactly. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> I mean, I like, uh, you could always pick, like I said, the Canadian guys we all picked are all good, solid picks. They're all playing well as well. So it's not like it's going to be not like, a bad option to pick all the Canadians uh, so, for, for this week. Four Canadian. Lineup. I might, I might have yeah, full uh, Canadian line. I might have to take sure. Was it Anthony's full Mexican lineup during the Mexican open? I think that's it almost won. Like I think, it you wasn't know, sometimes bad. it's sometimes it's the, the pride of the country that gets the guys going you know you gotta not lying you gotta when in Rome, people up. going yeah. gets the people going <laughs> some three balls too use that information for three balls guys the information we gave you pick the guys we said over everybody else that's listed and you might win a bajillion dollars or nothing so the choice is yours there's that gray area yeah i mean these are the risks <laughs> these are the risks oh, you may or may sign not not win something non-disclosure at the bottom you know we're not responsible for any losses during <laughs> this week we are not responsible for any losses we are simply talking fake monopoly money here oh, we're not even responsible for our own i debate anything that i uh don't lose that i don't it's not yeah, I, I call my bank after every transaction i say someone's yeah <laughs> I didn't yeah. do that. Somebody stole my card say. 400 times this year. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and they only use it on DraftKings. It's draft so games. weird. They yeah, can't. they are only <laughs> charging draft my house. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't order gratuity. What is this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't oh, even know you God. could tip on DraftKings. <laughs> How am oh, I giving them more man. money for? No, yeah, let's see if Rory can hold it this week. If him and the wife are, I mean, the ex, you know, maybe he's going to keep playing That's better. That's what I mean. I think he's dark Rory now. I think we're going to start seeing some golf, baby. I think we're going to start seeing some magic. Sure, him called it ever since he put that out there, man. This dude's Sith Rory. Golfing. Sith Rory, yeah. He's, he's out. He's looking for blood, dude. <laughs> he's, looking for he's looking in the stands for the, for the fans, and he's looking for blood out on the field. The guy is a shock. <laughs> He's about to Greg Norman his way right into the championship round. <laughs> oh, God. Let's see how this thing goes, man. I'm waiting. All right. Oh, It'll man. be a good week. It'll be a good week of viewing. Brendan's going to get some golf. Get after it. Have fun, sir, with your endeavors. Hope you whack them well there and win the tournament. Sunshine so and all too, week man. over here, too, man. I don't see no rain on the forecast. Anthony, you better get out there, play some golf. Play more for me because I can't. But you go ahead and play. I'll putt That's from it. you know fifty out just for you. I yeah, won't even use my wedge for me, and I want it on video. <laughs> we'll make that happen. Yeah. For Sherman. Oh, what happened to him? Uh -uh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he, he just broke his back. 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 Broke back. No, no big deal. I broke my back. It's final. Uh, it's final. final. It's gonna be it's hard final. for you to piss now too, man. Hey, everything's hard. Picking up all that weight, dude. <laughs> Dude, you got to stretch, man. It's all those muscles, man. It's all about it's those, all those muscles. muscles. You got to right, stretch buddy. them out. Rest up, man. Rest up. Next week. We'll see you. Peace. You better get right.